Hello and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, we're going to show you how to change the lifeline in a Miller Duracell self-retracting lifeline. And helping us out from Miller Fall Protection is Mark Canjemi. Mark, hey, welcome, Tom. Man. How, How are, are you? you? Good to see you. Good, good. Thanks. Welcome. I'm excited about this because we're all about safety here, right. and uh, this is one of the best safety devices that you can get right here. Now, tell us, what kind of industries would we be using this self-retracting lifeline for? Right, right. So the new Duracell self-retracting lifeline is going to be key mm -hmm. for your harshest environments. Okay. So onshore, offshore, petrochemical, oil and gas. Uh, what the advantage of this product's gonna be mm -hmm. is if something happens to it where it fails inspection, somebody falls into it, the right. lifeline gets cut, abraded, whatever it is, rather than having to take this device and send it out to an authorized service center and have it repaired by a technician, mm -hmm. this is gonna lower the cost of ownership for the employer because now a competent person in the field can replace the lifeline right on the job site. D did you just call me competent? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Well, I like at least under the supervision of a competent person. Thank so, you. Well, yeah. what do you say we take this apart and put it back together? Right. Sounds good. Okay. First thing is we got All PPE right. here today, and we've got two pieces of PPE. We've got glasses. He's got his on. Then we also have gloves as well. And uh, just make sure whatever project you're working on to wear the proper PPE. All right. I'm going to follow your lead and right. help you out. Where do we get started, All my right, friend? Perfect. So we've already done our pre-inspection on this device. We know that it's failed inspection. It's so failed inspection. Now as a competent person, we've got to go ahead and replace the lifeline so we can get it back out into the field. Let's do it. So we have the new lifeline over here. Right. So in order to take the old lifeline out, first thing we're going to do is if you see this little rubber plug right here, okay. take our flathead screwdriver and you're going to go ahead and just pop that out. So the next thing that we're going to do here is grab our four millimeter hex driver. Okay. Locate here. This is your entry guide bushing. Okay. Right here above the lifeline. You got these two screws right there. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take those off. Okay. And all of the new hardware will come with the new lifeline assembly. Right. So all these pieces and parts that we're taking off right now can just go ahead and be thrown away. Yeah, and that's what we have up on the table right here. This would be the new cable assembly and along with the new parts as well. All right. So now that we've got the entry guide bushing okay. unscrewed here, right. that's gonna go ahead and allow it to come out of the housing here. Okay. So you can tell that this lifeline is under attraction forces. So right. what we're gonna do here next is Tom's gonna hold this for me okay. and I'm gonna pull out the lifeline. Now this okay. is a 50 footer, so we've got 50 feet of lifeline. Let's here go. we go. Here we go. And that's why we're wearing our gloves and our safety glasses, because you have no idea what you're going to find on the inside of one of these things. So now we know we're towards the end, because you see this little button stop okay. right here. All right. So we're getting now close. what we need to do is pull that out just far enough. Now the reason that he wants to stop it right there, he's going to turn the set screw and tighten it. And that means that uh, we're going to be uh, able to take these two screws out. Right, good. So tightening up that set screw is going to go ahead and stop that drum mm -hmm. from being able to wind on okay. us. Okay, all right. Now we got to take those screws out. That's right. All right, my turn. Now as he holds that, and we'll show you the reason why that we stopped at that particular angle, because at some point, if the cable has to be replaced, there has to be an end to the cable. Right. There's the cable in there. Now you watch. He's going to pull that out. And there you go. And that's the end of the cable right there. Okay, now what's that little piece called there on the this end? This is just the, uh, the button stop. Okay. So those two shoulder screws went right here underneath this button stop at the end of this lifeline. And that's going to hold it. Yep. Okay, now from that point on, we're still not done yet because there's a piece actually inside there by the, uh, the clasp. Right, so you're going to grab the bottom of the lifeline here, take your little rubber grip above your snap hook, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to pull that up which is going to expose these two aluminum ferrules and this red RFID clip with an RFID chip on the inside of it. All right. Now we've got the new ones in here. Now that's the new clip. Everything would be new except the actual RFID chip itself, correct? Right. And that's going to have all the identification information on it for this Duracell block, the, uh, the date it was manufactured, okay. everything that's going to be unique to it. So what we're looking at here is this is the RFID yeah, chip. Show. And that's clips. the only thing that actually goes, would go back in the assembly with all the parts. That's it. Everything else is scrapped. Throw it away. All right. Okay. But we're just going to reassemble. We're actually going to reverse right. the process now. Perfect. So we grab our two new red RFID clips. Take your chip. Put it on the inside there. The new one yeah. locked, snapped back into place. 
So we just take our rubber grip down here mm -hmm. again and just pull that over top of everything. So once we've gone ahead and installed that, we got our new lifeline assembly here. Again, locate your button stop at the okay. end. And the whole goal here is to go through the entrance point here of the Duraseal and then pass it all the way through where we originally took those two okay. shoulder screws yeah. out. And you're gonna watch it come through, watch in here. You, you can see how it goes in right there. And now once he pushes it all the way in, Perfect. then these are the two screws that are gonna go in that's gonna stop that button from coming out right there, so. And three millimeter. Got the three millimeter. There we go. Take care of that. All right, I'm good to go. Perfect. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and let this retract back up inside the housing here. Okay. What I recommend that you do is put your foot on the cable first. Mm -hmm. As we're taking that three millimeter driver and taking the tension or loosening, the set screw back here. Okay, there, there's where the set screw is located, right down there on the bottom. You can see that's where he's loosening <clears throat> and tightening the cable. You can see already that some of that cable yeah. started to pull back up in. So we loosen that, take it out and there. And does that, you can watch that's it. that's gonna allow us to. You can see how it winds back in there. There we go. Now we gotta cover this up as well once we're done with this, right, correct? Right, right, so you can do that. And I'm right. actually gonna go ahead and start right. to uh, install these two new four millimeter screws here on the entry guide. And you can see this is what he's doing. He's just putting those screws right back in there on the end. All right, I'm gonna turn this back over to you so you can. There you go, that's we're it. All set. Do a final inspection of it before uh -huh. we put it back out in the field, but good to go. Mark, thank you so much. Absolutely, thank you, Tom. Good stuff. Mark Cangemi, he is with Miller Fall Protection, and you could see just how easy that was to do. You can check out videos just like this that can be helpful to you by going to mihowto.com with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching today.